Hi guys, it is Dima once again with another haul. This one is a little a Bath and Body Works haul. Um, like I need anything else from Bath and Body Works. I only got two small bags, so it wasn't too terribly bad. But I saved my total was 42.66, and I saved 93.63. So yeah, that was amazing because everything I got was, um, depending on what it was, up to 75% off because as you can see from the bag, it's in my annual sale, it's a really good sale, um, and you just go digging through everything and find cents or something that you don't have or you want to restock it on. And then I had a online or in store $10 off your purchase coupon just so, show them the code at the register so I used that I didn't know if it was gonna work because all the stuff was already on clearance but it did it took off ten dollars so and it spread it evenly throughout everything so that was pretty cool so I didn't get a lot so I'm gonna try to make this quick huh <laughs> try to um, the first thing I got was one of the last rose champagne uh, shea and vitamin E butter I think I ever heard the lady saying they were stop gonna stop doing the shea butter formulas. I don't know if that's accurate. I might have misheard her, but there was one formula of the lotions that they weren't doing anymore. I'm pretty sure it was the shea butter, which is just a thicker version of the regular lotion. Oh, I'm like holding it up so you can sniff it. Wow. All right. It's really a different smell. You have like a little bit of a rose or floral scent, but then there's like a bubbly young vibrant scent mixed with it. I think that's why I liked it. I don't quite have anything that smells like this. And the lady even asked me where I found this. I'm like, I dug, I found it at the bottom of one of the 75% off boxes or bins or whatever. And she's like, well, I just told somebody we were out of it. I'm like, and then the, the cashier next to her said, well, if you did the work, you earned it. So, but I would have given it to the person if I had seen them, but I didn't. Um, their candles, their three wick candles were up to 50% off, so I got two. I should have burned one tonight, but I hadn't done the haul yet, so. And I was mad. I picked ones with pretty lids that, and I checked underneath the lid because sometimes the decorations are extra. And they switched them out to the plain old lids at the end. They didn't have anything extra on them, but the first one I got was Fresh Cut Lilacs. They had this one in a few different um, container patterns. But they're all the same smell. It's just a nice light floral smell. It's not too overpowering. So that was pretty good. Um, I, I'm very cautious when I burn candles. I rarely do it anymore because um, I have the cats and the TARDIS. And I don't want them knocking over and causing a fire or getting hurt with the wax. So I should have this one on. This one has. Eiffel Tower on it, and it is Blushing Pink Rose Petal, and it's just like a light, it smells like a rose, but it's very light with the floral scents, like I can't have them very strong or it might make me have a migraine, but I do like this, and plus I've had a thing for like roses since Beauty and the Beast, go figure, but Those will probably last me a while. And if you saw like a haul, Bath and Body Works haul from a while ago, I had a batch holder that was on clearance because they had some leftover haul and stuff. So I think we finally used that. My dad had it by side had his little my dad had it beside his chair and was using it to put stuff in like the remotes. I'm like, oh, I gotta use it now. And the other one is just three sprays and a soap. I haven't seen these soaps before. They are, this one's French tulips. Um, they only had a few of these um, soaps left, but they have a shimmer, iridescent shimmer in it. And you have to, like when you wash it off, I was worried the glitter was just gonna wash off, but it's very fine and you can see it like in your little pores or whatever. You can still see it, but this one, I wanted it, it was like French lilac or something, fresh lilac, 
but this was the next best scent. It smelled very similar to it, so I got that. So it smells like a light scent of tulips. And then I got... Oh, I got the lotion down there. I didn't know I got that. Uh, I also got vanilla lavender wallflower refills, a two-pack for my mom. They were on sale, so I don't have them in this haul, but I did get them at the same time. Um, this one is Beach Nights. It's a lotion, and it smells like marshmallow. And they usually have this around fall, like marshmallow scents. So I was like, I grabbed it. It was like, the, I think the last or second to last one. They didn't have lotion all over it from where somebody didn't close it. So, like that smelled yummy. And I got Gardenia and Fresh Rain Spray. I don't know if I had this already, but I liked it. And Violet Sky. I really like the colors. Blue and purple and teal always speak to me. I can't remember what this smells like. Okay, it smells like, almost like it's a um, beautiful day or in this weekend. Well, it smells in that vein of stuff. Very like vibrant, playful. Like I could see more like a youthful age group using this than like an older, like mature woman. Because <sighs> my sister, she's a little older than me. She's like in her almost fifties, and she wears like the vanilla scented stuff and into the woods and the woodsy scents and I just don't like those. My mom likes to be like the tree scents as well but not me this one says get happy <coughs> and it's sparkly it's, there's not actual sparkles in the formula but the bottle is sparkly it was the last one of the white peach sangria smell and anything that has peach in it I have to have so and it's, it's very nice it, you can really smell that peach, but um, sometimes I'm very cautious about ones that have like alcoholic smells to them, like pina colada or, or whatever daiquiris. Most of the time it's like pina colada because I can't stand coconut smell. I can't stand the taste of it, the smell of it. It just gives me a migraine, but this does not smell like that. It smells very fresh and clean and crisp and... I could see all ages using this one, not just mature or younger audience. So, um, the Gardenia one, I can see more of an older um, preference to that. I've noticed that older people like the floral scents a lot better, especially the really strong ones. Oh my god. So, anyway, I actually made this video pretty short, so that is it for the Bath and Body Works haul need to get like a big shelf to put all my Bath and Body Works stuff in over here with like the toilet and the bathroom. I have like a bowl, a wicker basket with about 20 different hand sanitizers because I got four five packs because they were on sale for the last haul that I did and then so I just use different ones if there's one I don't like I just don't use it. And, Everybody uses them. My son, my dad, my husband, my mom. So they get used. And then I've got some guy lotion on the window. Because I got a couple different scents in that. Because I didn't know they had lotion for guys. I know they had like the sprays. But um, Lazy NPC had requested a lotion because he had to be getting some dry skin. And then I have three different soaps. I have a foaming winter snow one. That's my favorite. And I don't use that as much. So hopefully I can use this one a little bit more. And then two other ones that my mom liked. And then the wallflowers in there, obviously, it's the bathroom. Um, but yeah, over the toilet I could see like a nice, good, yard long, at least, shelf that it should have enough room for. Like a yard long and maybe eight inches deep. Because, yeah, that wouldn't be too deep to where you, when you sit back on the toilet, you hit your back or whatever on it. So. And it would hold everything. But yeah, that was it. So, yeah. Let me know your favorite sentence below. And if you did a, got a haul from the semi-annual sale, let me know and link it below so I can go watch it. Because I like 
watching people's hauls as well. That's why I do them. So, anyway. I will see you guys later. I think this is going to be record timing for my videos. Other than the, like the Snapchat fun ones, which obviously don't take as long. But, see you in the next video. Bye guys. Mwah.